Hello everybody, welcome to another Transformers knockoff review. In today's video, courtesy of the team over at TF Direct, we're taking a look at the Earthquake T10 Star Skywings. Uh, this is basically by the Black Mamba team. Uh, it is an oversized version of the MPM Starscream. Let's take a quick look around the box. That's it. You got uh, age of 16 plus, and uh, what you see is what you get. Let's crack him open. And here we have him fresh out of his plastic prison. A few little tweaks here and there with the backpack to try and get him semi kind of screen accurate, but he's nice. He is a big boy, obviously based on the more recent version of the MPM star screen. He's taken what Black Mamba usually do best, and that's uh, slightly modify and oversize their figures uh, trying to get it way more in scale than our first few versions of the figure uh, weapons paint joints plastic quality and consistency all very much like you would expect from black mamba only uh, under the earthquake guys i mean as far as sculpts go Props here. Have to go to Takara for their original, but man, Black Mamba have done an amazing job at making it big. Now, to give you an idea of scale, first of all, here he is alongside his counterpart. So as you can see, they kind of took the principle of go big or go home. And here he is alongside the oversized Studio Series version that Black Mamba have given us in the past, albeit this is the highly tattooed Revenge of the Fallen version. Or is it Dark of the Moon? Either way, it's the tattooed star screen based on his studio series appearance. And more importantly, here he is alongside Black Mamba Optimus Prime and the Black Mamba Megatron. Albeit my Megatron had the broken horns, didn't it? But I mean, if we straighten out Starscream's legs completely, he'll be nearer Megatron's height. But yeah, that definitely that definitely sits a lot better with me. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that scale. I think that definitely works. Just something about the character. Look at that. They've done a really decent job of kind of capturing him in the films. I didn't like a lot of the Bay characters, but Starscream, in my opinion, he was just as kind of annoying as his G1 counterpart was. Paint apps on this are actually kind of scarce in comparison to what we normally get from Black Mamba, but there's still absolutely loads there to keep us going. Definitely loving this guy. In terms of weapons and accessories, you can see he gets his buzz claw saw thingy. Uh, tabs into his hands, these tab into the wrists, we get the minigun, which I've currently already got mounted on his wrist there. And we get this big missile launcher as well, with all of those missiles and blades on. These can just be untabbed by bringing this piece out of the arm. Come on, out you come. Oh, stuck duck. There we go. Now this tabs in to the hand and then the hands themselves really nice long articulated fingers and some claw like fingers in there as well i think something's rubbing like some sort of paint rub on my finger there slightly but i mean you can fully extend the legs if you see fit but he's a chicken leg kind of guy lots of die cast in the feet to help him with the balance i had to push my feet in though this joint here was a little bit loose i was like oh no i've got a really dud just had to push and lock those into place to get them to work and there we have him there is starscream lots of articulation head up down left and right no quizzicals tilting though i think there's some batteries in the head not entirely sure because the instructions are naff. Arms go round, out to the side, bend on the elbow. Really tight joint on the elbow. 
rotation and bend on the wrist. Uh, nothing uh, in there on the waist, all kind of locks in as it should. Lots of rotation now. There's a swivel here. Swivel. Bends, bends, knee pads, bends. And of course we've got articulation, pivot, and lots of die cast. So a very robust, very sturdy, well produced thing. Before I get a transform, I just realized I keep calling this guy at the front here, the original, don't I? I mean, it's the MPM 10's KO cousin. It was the Metal Deformation F12, which is basically the identical mold to the MPM 10 Scarscream uh, with a few tweaks and that repainted color scheme to make him look a lot kind of better. But in essence, it's the same size and shape and form as the official piece. So uh, before I get <laughs> ripped for keep calling it the, the original, uh, it's my original. And it's the same size as the original, much like the MPM Prime had several different repaints by several different companies. So let's crack on with the transformation. Starting around the back first, we can bring this piece up. These tabs here are going to unlatch and going to unlatch. These are going to rock inwards like so and rock inwards like so and like so just a little push there we go this is going to close and tab in that's going to close and tab in this is going to come untabbed and this will come up like this this can straighten out straighten out straighten out these big old long legs of his oh, they are really long legs backpack can now come up and uh, just over and out of the way let's get these wings sorted I've got some room to play with now this is going to come up and fully extend like so these can then compress oh, still absolutely adore the upgraded color scheme they did with this. I know they did the same thing with the smaller version, but it really does make the world a difference, doesn't it? The wings are on these rotating hinges. Those are going to come all the way down. Come on, work it down, work it down. So it comes down to this angle here. Same on the other side. Work it all the way down. Come on, there we go. And then this part here, it's gonna come unfolded. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. This bit here flattens, this comes down, and this should, he says, just slide over there. It's gonna give you an idea where it's gonna go, and then we've got all of this little uh, fun bits here as well and they'll come down and they'll lock in as well so let's bring those down now and bring that one down now and let's go around to the front this hinge on the shoulder is going to slide up which frees up these pieces here these untab from here uh, this piece here comes up Oop. and that's going to fold backwards on itself So this comes up and we can just flip this piece up. These can then tuck in. Now as standard out of the package, these are in to begin with. You have to kind of untransform them a little bit. And with this bit up, the head is gonna kind of sit into that groove and then this can come back down like that, locking all that in and tidying it up. You then flip this up and over so it tucks on the inside like so and then where you plug these in earlier on look they just fit rather nicely into that void come around to his bottom plate and that's gonna oh, unhinge and this is all going to fold like so which now frees up 
all of that hinge and uh, then you can see that these are all just going to kind of slide down into position and this is all going to push and tab in and we can tidy all of this up shortly once we're finished with the arms and legs. Right, uh, we can reconnect this front crotch piece. This is going to come forwards and these are going to come up and over like so. These parts of the legs are going to rotate. Come on, round you go. Oh, it's quite stiff. There we go. This is going to come out like so. And it fully extends out like so. So we've got all of this extra room to play with. So that these can come round and around like so. And then it is this folds in and pushes and tabs down like that. We have a knee arch here which just tabs away and then it's gonna come up and compress like so. These then come in, turn inwards and push and lock. We've got, oop, there. Come on. And there. There we go. They're tabbed in together. And starting on the arms this tab here that goes like so uh, we have got this tab underneath that is going to come around and that's going to go under like this this can then come down this is going to come up out of the way come down to these arms it's going to come down they'll flip and these need to go down to the hands, like so. It's going to come up and that'll collapse onto the arm. This here is pegged in just under here. You need to just lift and it should extend. Come on, out you come. There we go. All the way, thank you. There we go. That fully extends like that. This goes around. This goes in. It slides inside like so. This then folds around and this will slide in and tab on like so. This can then slide backwards and that's going to line up. <sighs> it's getting there. This here is going to come up and move this out it's going to rock downwards like so come on there we go and if you look what i've done here i've slid these in under these legs it was uh it's not overly complex just hard really hard to kind of get done on camera uh, these then should he said slide in these are all going to line up and it's going to tab in at several locations including the front here come on one two these peg in to the 
the back side of those thrusters. That goes into that slot. This one should go into this slot here. And then the wings, he says, these should line up just a matter of uh, getting everything in position and it's having them all in and I've pulled the arm out <laughs> oh, God. start as you mean to go on Ben start as you mean to go on 20 minutes later once you've done that you can just have these bits into the wings. We've got wheels there inside the legs. Come on. Oh. Stiff. Really stiff on this one. Let's see if this one's any easier. No, that's not any easier. <laughs> There's wheels inside these wings. Uh, wheels inside the legs anyway. There we go. That one's out. I uh, don't know if I can get that one out, but uh, that does sit still slightly raised in the middle there. I think it's my um, missile pods. I don't think they're exactly square. But it gives you an idea of what you're looking at. Really big, gorgeous version of Starscream. Real serious heft to this guy. Absolutely blinding piece. And to give you an idea of how big this guy is, here he is with a six inch scale Fortnite figure. There we go. Gives you an idea. It's a really nice, good, big, chunky jet. Uh, it annoys me that some of the tabs don't quite go in. It may just be my lining up. Uh, it's only like the second time I transformed him. But uh, bot mode, sublime. Jet mode is definitely passable, I think. But uh, I still think the Studio Series jet mode works better. It seems a little bit more streamlined. But all in all, this is an amazingly awesome piece. If you are a fan of the oversized figures, then this really is a must. Highly recommended. Thanks again to TF Direct for making this review possible. I'll include a link in the description below where this can be purchased. And until next time, myself and the rest of the Pectorals household, thank you all for watching. A oh, goodbye.